What's going on, Dragon Ball Z fans? Welcome back. I'm Rudy Gaming here again, once again, with all seven Dragon Balls gathered, joined by JR Saiyan right now. And today we're going to be discussing our thoughts on Dragon Ball Super and who we believe is going to pair off with who in this tournament, in the God Destruction Tournament, Universe 6 versus Universe 7. Again, guys, this is going to be an opinionated video. So if you guys have any comments of your own, any ideals, any questions, comment down below. And of course, you know, just make your voice be heard. So today, guys, we're going to be sharing our opinions and our predictions as to who's going to fight who. And uh, JR saying, I know you have a very interesting theory behind this. Uh, we spoke about this in the last video. So uh, who do you think is going to pair off with who? Because it'll be, don't you think it'll be too obvious if you have the team leader on one team fighting the team leader on the other? Like, I think I think what Akira is going to do definitely is he, he's going to pair off people um in very unexpected ways for example you just might have goku versus the uh, giant ratchet and clank robot you just might have uh majin buu fight you know the team leader on champa's team you really don't know what's going to happen here for me personally this is what i think is going to happen now you have a saiyan on champa's team and i think that's going to be very important here because who would have thought saiyans were still alive in different universes especially for vegeta because he takes pride in that stuff he's the prince right so i think what's going to happen here is you're going to have uh, Goku versus, you know, the Arcosian, aka Frost, Froze, the Frieza clans race member. Um, it's gonna be Goku versus him. I think it's going to be Vegeta versus the Saiyan, because obviously for pride purposes, he is a Saiyan, and I think Vegeta, Vegeta's definitely gonna confront him and, and, you know, pretty much, uh, wanting to test the waters to see where he stands. So I think it's gonna be, uh, Vegeta and the Saiyan. I think Piccolo is gonna collide with the team leader of uh, Shampa's team, which is like the Mira Cooler Cell looking dude. I think it's going to be th those two. Um, I think it's going to be Majin Buu versus the robot. And lastly, I believe it's going to be uh, the Nipple Guy versus the Yellow Bear. Because obviously you have to have uh, like so certain people lose on certain teams in order in order for their for, you know to allow the ah, I can't even speak right now in order for the teams <laughs> to have an even like even shot odds here because if you have one team dominate the other it doesn't make any sense so that's my little prediction list now what is yours like what do you think is gonna happen here you know I like your prediction list and the thing I like I love about discussions is that we have different you know predictions all right so my prediction is quite different from yours. I believe Goku will face the other Saiyan because he's another Saiyan. Goku wants to test the waters, in my opinion. Like, I want to see if I'm stronger than you because you're a Saiyan. You get me? That's ah, the type okay. of person Goku is. Okay. I believe Vegeta is pissed off that he didn't get to kill Frieza, so he's going to take it out on Froze. Oh, okay, okay. I see. That, that, that's what I think about that. Now, I do agree with you. Piccolo against the other badass-looking uh, Mira dude, I mean that that looks like already like a potential matchup now Akira could swerve it and Totally put him against someone else, but that looks like a matchup. Just think about it. They both look like Pissed off all the time. They both look badass. Absolutely. So I would think that's a matchup right there now I would have to go with the nipple guy and the giant robot and um, of course, Boo against the Bear. I feel like that'd be the heavyweight battle of the I night. I don't think you know? that's gonna happen, but I think it's just too predictable. I it, think Akira, yeah, that's true. Akira's gonna be like, oh well, obviously you have one fat pink blob against one <laughs> fat bear. It's like it, it just seems too obvious. But then again, you know, we all might be assuming that, and we might be wrong or right. But that would be really fun to. I mean, I would like to see it, but I just don't think it's gonna happen because to me, it just seems a little, just a little it too obvious. It does seem too obvious. Yeah. yeah. But if, let's say, Boo would face the, the Winnie the Pooh guy, right? Yeah. I, I would think if that would have happened, if he would give us that obvious, he would make the nipple guy lose against the robot. That would be a shock. But then that, again, why would exactly. he, like, why and how would he lose if he was able to rival Beerus in strength? That Then that would mean the robot is equal to or greater than this dude, which means that he should be able to give Beerus a fight, you know, of his life. I mean, in a way, because Beerus did tell Goku the toughest opponent I ever had. It wasn't it wasn't you. It was this guy. So having the robot beat this guy would be like, whoa, so are you telling yeah, me that the robot is stronger, you know, than this be dude crazy. beat Beerus? Like, it's just crazy talk. But go go on. Um, the, the real question is, did Beerus ever twist his nipples? What if that's his weakness? Well, again, we don't even know if this dude has a transformation. If he does, because, again, I mean, it was stated that, you know, as his nipples, I think as his nipples grow larger, like, he gets stronger or something <laughs> like that. Like, it's, in, it's insane. It's comedy. It's pure comedy. So I think, yeah, that would be really awesome because, again, um, you know, a as his nipples increase, like, his strength increases or something, like, it's it's comedy. I, I could definitely see the robot twisting his nipples or something and then losing ultimately, but I... I 
like it, it's just it's comedy in a way. But uh, what I really like about what you just said was um, the freeze, the free, uh, the Frieza Arcosian dude pairing off with Vegeta and Goku pairing off with the Saiyan because that that is just like. For some reason, the Goku slash Saiyan, you know, fight, it reminds me of, like, Oob and stuff. Because wasn't yeah. that what Goku did with Oob? He wanted to test the waters. Yeah, with, exactly. Obviously, exactly. there was a huge height difference and stuff, so. Yeah, man. I mean, anything could happen, really. This is just speculation, of course, guys. But, um, y'all let us know what you guys think is going to happen. in the who do you think is going to match up against who? Oh, absolutely. I, mean, I, I just idea. think that whoever wins this tournament, if there's going to be a winner in the first place, I think that, um... It's definitely like this. This tournament is definitely going to be a huge payoff because there, there's so much to look forward to even later down the road. I mean, again, people complain about animation and stuff. I I, I think Toei got this in the bag. So as long as um the like the right storytelling is there and the right atmosphere is there, I, I think it's definitely going to be there. Um, and people aren't going to complain so much. But of course, um, like towards the end of the tournament is what I'm looking forward to because I do believe that. Goku and Vegeta are going to be pushed. They're going to be pushed, mm -hmm. and, and and again, we don't know if they're going to use fusion or not, because how many times was that referenced? I mean, Whis was like, listen, you guys got to work together, man, because if you guys don't work together, you're screwed. So, it's it's possible. Like, for example, we like we don't even know if this tournament is one-on-one -on -one to begin with. How do we know it's not two-on-two, three-on-three? Tag team. Like, 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 yeah, like a tag team style. Like, that would be awesome, because what if what if that Arcosian and Frieza race member and the one that looks like Mira slash Cell, what if they team up to fight Goku and Vegeta and they have the edge because they know how to work together and whatnot? Like, we don't even know if there's going to be a fusion. Like, what if, what if, for example, right, there is what a if fusion. They fuse? On, exactly. Huh? Like, what if, wow. what if there's a fusion on Shampa's team? Damn. That'd be crazy, like Winnie the Pooh giant robot looking thing. Damn. Yeah, exactly. Or the Arcosian, you know, Frieza Klansman and, and the team leader, the one that looks like Mira. Like how how crazy is that? Like and then of course Goku and Vegeta are like, shit. Alright, well, <laughs> I guess we haven't done this in a while, but you know, why don't we try? Like that that would be so crazy. And of course, ultimately they're not being a winner because, you know, uh, of the time limit runs out and both fusions separate. Like that would be mind blowing. But this is Akira's baby, and I think Akira got it in the bag. Um Oh yeah. But, like, which match do you think would be, like, the most exciting between the ones that you named? Most exciting. Because mm. I think the one that you said is it would definitely be Frieza and, well, not and Frieza, Vegeta. but Frieza guy and Vegeta, yeah. I, I would think so, too. But Vegeta's not one to play around, so I think it would be just both of them a serious fight. The other guy looks serious, too, in the manga, right? Oh, absolutely. I, I think it'd just be, a like, an all-out brawl, badass fight, serious fight. So I think it'd probably be the best. Now, the funniest would probably be Goku's. Goku would probably be messing around most of the time, right? Absolutely. Until he's pushed to the limit, until he finds out, oh, this Saiyan is not messing around. Now, that, that, so I, I think it, it would be the Vegeta and Frieza fight. I, I think so as well, too. I mean, I think also if Goku fought the Arcosian Frieza clans, remember, that would be awesome, too, because I can definitely see Goku telling him, like, hey, so we just came off of, like, fighting someone who looks like you, and we kicked his ass, so if you want <laughs> us to hold back, let us know. And then this dude's like, no, it's not needed. You can become a god if you want. I can, I can. And then, and then like, Goku's like, oh, <laughs> okay, wait, what? All right, I mean, so what is this? Because everyone assumes that this character's gonna have a golden form. No, Frieza specifically totally. chose gold because he was vanquished by a golden fighter, the golden prophecy of the Super Saiyan. So obviously he wanted revenge, and what better way to get revenge than to beat a Super Saiyan in, in, in you know, in, in, in a cloak-like golden form. So we don't know if this dude is going to become red, blue, black, white. We don't know. But whatever it is he transforms into, I think is going to be very epic because, um, again, what, what I really hope for is a different design in when they transform. For example, what I really like about Cooler was when Cooler transformed, he looked so different. Like, he had horns and he had, like, spikes and he had, like, a, like, what was that, like a face mask, whatever he had. Like, he looked really badass, dude. And oh, yeah. I, I I hope that whatever Akira does in terms of design, he does it to a way where they don't look very simplistic. Because a lot of us, I mean, come on, man, I, I'm sure you have as well. People have complained. I mean, I have too because I I didn't like the way they just changed color of hairs and stuff. Like I was just like really so. I mean, mind you, like the original design for Super Saiyan God uh, was supposed to be that of a combination of Super Saiyan 3 and Super Saiyan 4 with a cape and a tail, but Akira was like, no, we're keeping it simple. So, who knows? Maybe there might be simplistic forms, which I really hope doesn't happen. Um, but again, like I, I just hope that whatever happens, you know, leads to transformations and fusions and stuff because it'll really throw people off, like, the charts. They'll be like, holy crap, we expected this to happen, but instead this happens. So, um, but any final thoughts on this tournament? Like, how do you think it's going to go? 
Well, talking about fusions, um, they're not going to have the Patara earrings. At least they didn't in the manga. So that would mean, wouldn't that mean they would do the fusion dance and that would be a, a different fusion canon-wise? Well, fusion using the Metamora or, or just using the Patara earrings, either way, I think that whatever happens, whatever kind of fusion you know they perform, even if it's the one with the earrings... I think someone like Whis already knows about this, and I think you know when the time comes, Whis can easily separate them because there. Even That's though this true. is fan made, again, guys, this is fan made. I saw a little manga to where um, Goku and Vegeta fused into Vegito and they were fighting Beerus, and things got kind of got out of hand. And Whis stepped in, he interrupted the fight, and he ended it. He chopped Beerus in the neck and put him to sleep. And as for Vegito, he kind of like swung like his staff once, and that caused them to like separate. And like he didn't make any physical contact with them. Like the magic of the staff caused them to just defuse automatically, and that was like I like I stopped for a second. I was like, wait a minute. So, because again, like Whis relies on that staff for a lot of things. He was able to turn back time with it. He was able to send Goku and Vegeta to a different dimension with it. So who knows what the hell that staff is capable of? Maybe it's capable of defusing people and stuff. But even if that were the case, that would make a lot of sense because what if Vegito can't defuse and Whis is like, all right, well, I'm done with this. You know, you guys have had your fun. Let's just separate you guys and we'll go back to training. So boom, he separates them. So who knows what's going to happen? I think fusion will definitely go along very well here. Uh, but let us know what you guys think down in the comment section below on your overall pairings uh, on like all these fighters. Who would you guys pair off with who and why? Let us know what you guys think on your overall thoughts on the fight itself. And uh, once again, thank you all for watching, guys. If you guys are fans, don't forget to subscribe. Check out JRZ Saiyan or JRZ, JRZ Saiyan on YouTube, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he's incredibly awesome so uh any final thoughts before we go not much man i mean like i always like to end it y'all have an amazing blessed day and on that note we'll be seeing you all on planet vegeta guys take it easy peace